All right, what's up, y'all? Um, so today, I'm just kind of typical BS day, just messing around with stuff. And uh, I think everyone can relate to this is uh, always kind of chasing tone, right? So I got some different gadgets here. Um, I got this bad cat. I have another one over here. They sent me some stuff, amazing. And I have a classic little Pro Junior, which kicks ass, but. Just kind of like messing around with the telly, finding what works. There's the Wessex from there, the big sky for my verb. And then I have one of my favorite fuzzes ever, the Carcosa fuzz. It's 45 bucks kicks ass, or maybe more than that now. I'm not sure with Bidenomics. Um, so anyways, you got the visual sound. Uh, and then you got the Wampa, which is basically like the Pantheon. That's kind of like a um, Pantheon. It's kind of like a um, blues breaker, I believe. And uh, we're just gonna try to get this to sound good. So let's do this. Watch this. I'm gonna set this up and see if we can't uh, get this to do its job, right? Let's see what's going on here. Can you see? No, you can't see. You gotta do it this way. Duh. All right, there we go. So I'm in the frame. There we go. All right, so here we go. Indeed. Telly time, right? We're gonna switch the drives around. This is a, um, the Bogner. I don't even know what, if anybody out there knows what the Wessex is, it kind of sounds to me like a high-end tube screamer of some sort. But, um, and I'm using this bass guy, it's just kind of like a uh, typical spring verb, which is really great. <laughs> I think it's just a placebo, but this pedal just kicks ass, man. Jesus, it kicks ass. It's unbelievable. I don't know why it just hasn't really caught on, but I can tell you, man, I've been buying them up because I think I think that like if you if this was in a cooler box and not in this like dopey looking thing, everyone would give a shit, right? But like, um, check this out. It's just gonna it's gonna have mids and all the stuff you want, but it's not gonna be cloudy and goofy sounding, right? And this is even through this. Little tiny pro junior, keep in mind, you know, and that kind of nasally thing, it's kind of annoying, but a microphone doesn't really see it that way, you know, especially in a band setting. You want all that weird mid range to cut through the band, right? And I'm gonna try putting that thing back on my five way, three way selector. Let's see what goes on here, right? I'm gonna take some uh, light, like really not like a super glue, and kind of just drop a little drop on there and put it back on that. Should hold it on, I'll do that later. See, I really like that better immediately.
really great. Let's move on. I'm telling you right now, you gotta believe me. This shit kicks ass. This is like a Nobles, but tighter. It's, it's just, I don't understand it. Everyone should have one. Go buy one, drive the market up, right? Here we go. Um, let's do this. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be a little more complicated though because opening it is a bitch, you know? <laughs> so this has a lot of knobs on it and I'm not quite sure what the hell is going on here, but it's like a spaceship, you know what I mean? So let's see if we can dial sound it quick. And I have to be honest, if it's not fast, I generally lose interest, you know? You know, it's like, you know, I'm not saying I like fast food or anything like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? But like, uh, I just, I just need it to, to come together quickly, you know? I don't know what is gonna happen here. Let's just set, let's set everything kind of flat, pull the volume back in the gain. Let's go low gain. I'm on the left side and um, we'll do that whole gaggle, okay? It's got a global, global presence. <laughs> crazy you have to use both this is nuts that no, this should not be just I'm, I'm tripping right now am I tripping well let's see what happens here yeah I'm, I'm, I'm tripping out man all right so in any event we tried like I said I can't get to turn on so we're just gonna move right on to my favorite, and this shit ain't even open right now. So let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna do what I do like a caveman on Christmas when you're a child. All right, this is to me, look at this, still in the box, my favorite fuzz of all time. The Carcosa, and I'll tell you what, if you put like a, a uh, some kind of a base heavy drive like the Nobles in front of it, you can really get some amazing sound out of this thing. And I mean amazing. I don't know, man. I'm, the guy who uh, made this, his name's Tom Cram, and he has a pedal company, Spiral Effects, and he actually makes a custom version of it, which is more, less noisy. But that being said, this is made with such cheap ass parts, that's why it's so cheap, that you just can't go wrong, you know? Um, but see here, that bias pot crunching? Let's see what we get. So the pedal just gets ass, man. God damn. So to me, for my money, I'm going open road and Carcosa. That's 150 to 160 bucks between the two pedals. And this is Dan O'Caster. I have been playing more telly lately, and I don't know what's going on. It's some kind of crisis of some sort. But um, I'm just enjoying playing telly. So I'm like thinking this, and I've been playing calling. There's a lot of callings. I-35V with a Bigsby with a towner on it so I can put it back to stop to if I want. And those two guitars together just to really, really work great together. And of course I have my older guitars and SGs and real old 335s. 
And they're amazing. It's just that these guitars seem to be doing the job for me right now. And I'm just going through a little cycle. And uh, that's it. And from there, uh, that's all we got today. And um, I'm going to do a video right now, actually, with a little bit of guitar uh, picking idea. So I'll see you next time. Let's go. That's all we got. Peace.